Hi, my name is Nacy. I'm reporting for StarlinerEvents.com. We are here at the IFC Center for the premiere, movie premiere for the movie Turning. And right here we have the lovely and talented Miss Nomi Ruiz. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I've been uh, following you for a long time. I love your music. And uh, for those of you that don't know, Nomi is a singer, songwriter, and uh, she's in this a fabulous band, Jessica Six. And um, tell us, what are your thoughts about this movie? Seeing it for, you know, this is the second time, right? This is the like second time, yeah. So Sunday. the first time was Sunday at the yeah. documentary festival. Um, it's very powerful. It's it's really nice to see it finally come to fruition. It's been so long. We, it, was, it was years. Yeah, yeah six years since yes. it all happened. And we we thought, you know, is it really going to happen? Is it right. really going to come to fruition? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So it was great to see it and then to see how we all were six years ago to where we are now. It's also very... Yeah. Um, Almost inspiring yeah, yeah it's very powerful you're like yeah. wow so much happened from that really inspiring moment so yeah it's really important what does turning mean for you personally turning um for me it was very very um a powerful thing to be a part of because it's yeah. you you're just kind of in the moment and just being really present which is what i learn as life goes on is really the um the best thing you could do you know just give yourself to the moment and by doing that and being a part of that while everyone else is doing the same thing it was yes it kind of really put this beautiful energy out there that i think not only affected us but people that see it and stuff like that and i i felt that you're very brave and courageous to put yourself out there mm -hmm. you know especially like you're a transgendered artist you know mm -hmm. and um yeah, how does it feel to be a transgendered artist, like what you said on the film? It was intense because even around that time, I was yeah. very um, lost and not very secure with who I was and yeah. where I was in in music and with right. my career. And so much has happened since then, and I found so much pride in what I do and who I am. And it's I can't even imagine being at a time in my life where I was afraid of who I was or wanted to ever hide it. I just feel so empowered by that film and also yes. just by living my life that I just, it's funny to see how lost I was then and insecure now. I feel like so proud and, and excited to really live and give more music and inspire other people. How did you get involved in this project? Because you were friends with Anthony for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually did, did it at St. Warehouse St. Anne's Warehouse in 2004, I think it was. Right. And that's when we first met a friend of mine, mm -hmm. um, asked if I wanted to meet Anthony, and, and you know, Anthony was putting together that project, and um, that's how we met. We met in a cafe and exchanged music, and Anthony told me about the project, and of course I was excited to be a part of it, and since that moment we were just, just like really good friends. And, and you guys were involved in Hercules and Love Affair. Yeah. Yes, how did that happen? That was also, Anthony got me involved in that. Anthony was, you know, singing with Andy and um, thought of me when there were some songs that were being being written. It was just like, oh my God, you have to get Nomi on this. And right. like, I trust whatever Anthony suggests for me. And right. so I did it and just, you know, okay. went off. I feel that uh, you are opening doors for us trans women out there because there's not so many musical artists out there that are trans you know and i feel like you're almost opening the door for the new generation yes that's How awesome do you feel about that? <laughs> I, that's that really um i guess it used to feel like wait but now i feel um yeah. it's great you know there are so many other um oh, trans artists in the world that the are just yeah right, right, that right. just aren't just aren't seen or heard, you know, and yeah. um, if they are, they're kind of just, you know, right. pushed under the mm -hmm. the stack of artists as just normal artists are in general. So it's tough in general, that industry, but right. especially as a trans woman, okay. um, if I could open that door and inspire other people, that's, you know. I think you have. 
I think you have, definitely. So my next question is, um, I know you're in a band, Jessica Six. Mm -hmm. I love your music. What is the next, are you guys working on a new album or? Yeah, I'm almost finished with the next album actually. It's okay. gonna be out uh, sometime next year. We haven't really planned out the release date yet, but it's almost done. I'm very happy with it. I'm excited to put it out and go back on the road. We're doing yes. a big show in New York this month. And yes, so you're opening up for Sam Sparrow, right? Yeah. Uh, for those who, who don't know, uh, she is opening up for Sam Sparrow at Webster Hall yes. on Friday, November 30th. Yes, yes. so be there. Or B Square, <laughs> and also, uh, do you have any contact information? Your Facebook, your Twitter. Just yeah, look up uh, Nomi Ruiz, last name R U I Z, and Jessica Six. We're all over. I'm very easy to find. So just, yeah. Yes. Google me. Tell me about the shirt real quick. Sharon Needles. Sharon Needles. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, I love her. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Last words before we we go. Um, thanks for coming tonight. Thanks Thank for you. yeah. Thanks for um, for your support and for yes. helping me to put the word out there. Thank you for being you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're signing off. Thank you, Nomi, for being so gracious. Really, you're the best. <laughs> Bye.